to my channel. Uh, so as you will have seen on the title of this video, I'm going to show you how to create your favourite takeaways and restaurant meals at home on the WW Diet Plan. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to do a Nando's feast just for 14 smart points. I will also be featuring a Wagamama's katsu curry for 13 smart points. And of course, it wouldn't be a takeaway video without the favourite. We will also be making a Big Mac fries and chicken nuggets all for just 17 smart points. So as always, if you do like this type of video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe down below. And let's get on with the cooking. Hi guys, so for tonight's fake away, we are going to be making a take on the Wagamama's chicken katsu curry. So I've just had a look on the app and on the app it's actually 33 smart points for a portion of the katsu curry from the takeaway. Um, we are actually going to be making this tonight for only 13 smart points. So that's going to include your chicken, your breadcrumbs, um, your rice, your curry sauce and even a little side salad. Um, so I'll just show you what we need. Okay, so this one is actually really simple. All you're gonna need is a couple of chicken breasts, depending on how many people you're doing it for. Um, so I'm gonna use two chicken breasts for this evening. I'm gonna use 55 grams of rice per person. So the chicken will be two smart points. 55 grams of rice per person will be five smart points. To cut down on points, um, as we need to breadcrumb the chicken, instead of using a whole egg, I'm just going to use the egg white, which is free on the WW plan. Um, we actually only have the golden breadcrumbs in at the moment, but if you can get hold of panko breadcrumbs, that will work better. Um, we have 15 grams worth of just plain flour. So what I would do is coat the chicken first in flour, then egg, and then in the breadcrumb mixture. Um, once the chicken's all cooked, this is what I'm going to use for the curry sauce. So this is the Mayflower medium curry sauce mix. I will also link this down below, but you can quite often pick this up in places like Home Bargains, B&M, and I believe Iceland also stock this one. And once this is all done and I've cooked my rice, I'm just going to serve this with a few sort of lettuce leaves and some shredded carrot on the side. So my chicken already, I've just butterflied these, so basically just made them uh, into one sort of flat chicken breast rather than a chunky one. Um, and then going to pop them in the flour, I've got the egg white, and then I've got my breadcrumbs all measured out here just with a bit of salt and pepper in. And then I'm actually going to pop mine into the air fryer and I'll cook these for around maybe 12 to 15 minutes. Um, you want them nice and crispy on the outside. Meanwhile, um, I'm also going to pop the rice on to cook. Um, and weigh out my curry sauce. Hi guys, so it's Friday night here again and we are going to be having another fake away tonight and tonight we are having a Nando's chicken burger and I'm going to do it with some spicy rice and some macho peas. I'm going to be making a Nando's burger, spicy rice and peas tonight for 15 smart points on the WW Green plan. Obviously, if you are on one of the other plans, you just adjust the ingredients accordingly to whichever one that you are doing. Um, I'm going to use this one tonight just because that's what we have in the cupboard. Uh, but you can use any of the Nando sauces to coat the chicken. Um, so I'll just show you the ingredients that I will be using. Okay, so for our Nando's this evening, I'm going to be using 150 grams of chicken breast per person. Um, so that is one smart point for the chicken. As I showed you, I'm going to be using the Nando's Peri Peri Bag and Bake. Um, this is going to be one smart point. I'm then going to be using some of the Shah White Chia Batter Rolls. Um, these are the, actually the gluten-free ones. These were the only ones I could get my hands on, um, but you don't obviously have to use gluten-free at all. We're not a gluten-free family as such. These are three smart points each, and they look like that. So be one of those per person. We're then going to have, instead of actually making the spicy rice, I'm just going to use the Tilda Firecracker rice. We've had this one before. We really like this one. It is quite spicy though. Half a pack of this is five smart points. Um, we've got some pineapple left over, so I'm going to do some grilled pineapple to put in the burgers. And then I'm also going to be making a version of macho peas. Um, so we've got some peas over in the back there. I'm going to be weighing out 115 grams of peas per person for two smart points. Mix through a teaspoon of clover light for an extra smart point, And then a teaspoon of the mint and the chopped chilies. And then just salt and pepper and season to taste. So I'm just going to put my chicken in the oven now. I'm going to try and sort of butterfly it out a little bit um, just to get some more spices through it, really. And um, It takes about half an hour or so, so I'm going to get that in first and then I'll put the peas on. 
I just thought I'd show you what you actually get in the bag as well. So you get like a brown paper bag basically, and then your seasoning mix, you pop the chicken in, pop your seasoning in, it says to give it a good shake and then fold it over. Um, so then it's all sealed and it bakes in the bag. So to make my Big Mac burgers, um, I'm just going to use the 5% fat beef mince. Uh, you can use up to 145 grams per person for three smart points. I'm going to make two patties out of that 145 grams. Um, so each burger will have two of the thin patties in. I'm then going to serve it in these um, Asda burger buns. These are four smart points each. I'm then going to use two of the light cheesy singles per person for two smart points. And of course you can't have a Big Mac without some shredded iceberg lettuce in as well. So the only thing I'm going to add to my burgers is just a tiny bit of salt and pepper. And you do want to roll these out quite thin as they do shrink up when they cook. So this is my Big Mac sauce and to make this up is really simple. All you're going to need are these ingredients just here. So I used a tiny splash of the white wine vinegar. I chopped up a couple of the baby gherkins just as fine as I could and also um, a tiny bit of white onion or you could use shallot as well. I then added about 80 grams of the light and the light mayonnaise. Uh, this is to serve two people so that would be one smart point each. Just a very small amount of the mustard, about half a teaspoonful, and then about a teaspoonful of garlic and half a teaspoon of the paprika as well. Just mixed it all together in a bowl and that's ready for my burgers. So to go with our Big Macs tonight, of course, we are going to have some French fries. So I'm gonna pop some of these in the air fryer and a one seven of this is six points. And of course, I'm not sure about you, but you can't go to McDonald's without having some chicken nuggets. Of course, these aren't actual chicken, um, but you ha if you haven't tried these already, um, these taste so much like the McDonald's nuggets. So I'm actually gonna have four of these as well for three smart points. So I'm just gonna cook these all up now in the air fryer. Okay, so this is how I'm going to layer up my burgers. I've just got um, my lightly toasted bun with the first patty, and then I've got my first slice of cheese on top of that. On here, I'm going to put a spoonful of the sauce, then put the second patty on top, and my second cheese. Then I'm going to top this with some shredded lettuce and some diced white onion. And then on the top half of my burger bun, I'm just going to add some more of the burger sauce. And that is the Big Mac all done. Thanks so much for watching guys. Please leave a comment down below if you enjoyed this video and let me know if there's any more content that you would like to see from me. And I will see you for another video again soon. Bye.